For more than 50 years, the road to the White House has run straight through Ohio. Nestled in a working class suburb of Columbus, Tommy's Diner caters to all political stripes. Actually, it's Donald Trump. If I, I've had a hard time deciding whether I need to vote for anyone. I'm embarrassed that Ohio is even. <laughs> that Hillary's not ahead. She's ahead everywhere else. What, what's going on here? Political polls show it's a toss-up in the Buckeye state, and that means both Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton and Republican Donald Trump are crisscrossing the state all the way to election day. Ohio just is is an important state just simply because we have a lot of electoral votes and we have a diverse population. We have rural people, we have city people, we have women, we have men. Attorney April Wheeler is leaning toward Clinton but wanted first to see Donald Trump's rally. I wanted to come and, you know, basically hear it from the horse's mouth. I wanted to hear what Trump has to say from Trump. Trump's efforts to pile up enough votes in a state Democrat Barack Obama won in 2012 gets tougher if Clinton siphons support from GOP strongholds. The state's capital, Columbus, is thriving with insurance, banking and education sectors. Democrats are finding cracks in support for the GOP's presidential nominee and raising Clinton's hopes for blocking Trump in a must-win swing state for him. There are more of these highly educated, you know, college educated Republican women in this area that we read about all the time, uh, I think will go substantially for Clinton over, over Trump. But Trump's campaign is confident he will not only hold traditional GOP regions, but make gains in areas such as the Mahoney Valley in Northeast Ohio. Trump's tough talk on trade deals and immigration has appealed to blue collar workers here. We've been hurt economically in this, in this state, and uh, I look for him to do great things for the state of Ohio and all the Ohioans in it. Knowing that no Republican has ever won the White House without capturing the state's crucial 18 electoral votes, Trump has been courting Ohio voters with vigor. The Clinton campaign is pushing back, using an aggressive ground game that won the state twice for Obama. I really think we've got a shot at turning Ohio blue this year. Republicans like Mark Miller believe Trump's message is striking a chord. There's a lot of folks that are being left out of the process. They're asked for their vote every four years and then they're just left to rot. And I think it's time that they had their voices heard. Whichever political vision carries Ohio on election day will track closely with the direction of the country. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.